Hello and welcome to ArchiTizzy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a model of a simple house in Revit using generic walls and roof and how to make a custom wall for a wooden cladding. Then I will export a model and import into 3D Max, will set up a scene, assign materials, create lighting and render it using Corona Render Engine. So we are in the Revit right now and the first thing I'm going to do is to create architectural wall, a generic wall of 200 millimeters. I will pick a rectangular shape and we'll make it, uh, let's say 12 meters by 6.6. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to level 2 and I'm going to create a roof. I will create a roof by footprint. I will pick uh, this generic 125 millimeters and we'll make the offset of 750 millimeters from the wall. We'll select those two sides and will not define roof slopes and for those two I will just increase the roof slope on 45 degrees. We'll click OK, don't touch and we'll go to 3D to see what we got. Oh, I made a mistake about the walls. I will select all of them and we'll just put them up to level 2. And yeah, I see that level 2 is quite high so I will make it on 3 meters. And now I'm going to select all our walls and just attach them to the roof. Again, I'm going to floor plan one and I'm going to architecture, wall architectural and we'll create a curtain wall. So I took the empty curtain wall and we'll make this one as wooden or one. Uh, for a panel, I will take the empty one. Then for vertical grid, I will put a fixed distance of 200 millimeters and we'll pick for vertical mullions the profiles I have already in 50 by 150 millimeters. You should have those uh, 50 by 150 millimeters profile as well because this is default metric architectural template in Revit 2022. I will pick nothing for horizontal and we'll just click OK and we'll create one here and we'll create the other one here. We'll select them and we'll just move them so the bottom line align with the generic wall. We'll repeat the same on this wall here. And then I will just mirror this one. DM is a command when you have no access to pick. And now I am going to trim those curtain walls. I forgot one thing and that's to see, yeah, they are not connected. I will connect the top constraint to the level 2 and let's go to 3D and see what we got. Then I'm going to level 2 and I'm going to do the similar thing. I'm going to duplicate this curtain wall. We'll name it as O2, we'll increase this distance on 600 and we'll just make this border type for the horizontal of 50 by 150. We'll select this and let's just move it. And just we'll go to 3D. So what I would like to do now is I would like to extend it by here and the same on the opposite side. So I'm tabbing. Now when I'm done with this, I'm going to select the wall and just attach the base to the roof. Go to level 2, select that wall and mirror it to the other side. As I said, DM is a command. I'm going to pick the midpoint, hold shift, and let's go to 3D and see what we got. Now, while I'm in 3D, 
I will select bottom curtain wall, go to edit profile and we'll make a window. Let's make it something like this. So for 900 for the parapet wall, for a seal height, 120. Click OK. This doesn't matter. You can just avoid this. And we'll create a door over here. The same merit profile. And we'll make it something like this with a top height of 2.1 meters. Now we'll slice. Actually, I don't need to slice this one. I can just delete it. Now I'm going to slice. And just click OK. So we got our shape. I don't need levels to be seen in uh, 3D export. So I'm going to visibility graphic. VV is a command. Annotation categories. And I will just unclick show annotation categories. And now we just have our walls and model elements created. When you are done with this, you can just go to file. Export and export as FBX. And you can export it wherever you want. We are in a 3D Max right now, and I'm going to File, Import, Import, and we'll pick the file we recently exported. Just click Open, OK, and here we are. We have our file in 3D Max right now. Go to the Render Setup or F10 shortcut. And for the renderer, just assign Corona renderer. And in a common, for the output size, pick this 1920 by 1080. And close this window. So the next thing we are going to do, we are just going to group the walls. So generic walls is going to be group one. Let's say, yeah, generic walls. The second group will be all our mullions. Group it, name it as mullions, OK, and that's it. Now I'm going to create a plane uh, around our model. I will make a bigger plane, and now I will start assigning materials. So you need to go to Material Editor or just click M, and this will pop up. I will drag this Corona physical material to my viewport. And for the color, I will make this 190 gray color. Because my plane is already selected, I will just go right click here and assign material to selection. So you see, our plane become uh, white. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to Corona material library. And you see there are a lot of presets of materials. We'll go to Pine Mate and we'll just drag it over. So this is going to be a wood we are going to use for all our elements in the model. And first thing I'm going to do, I will uh, select the roof, right click and assign, assign material. I will go to the modify and for the modifier, I will use this UVW map, create box and we'll just put the size of, let's say one, one centimeter this looks fine we'll see later on how it will behave now double click on our group generic walls and m shortcut right click assign material so the same process and now i will put the same modifier to all our generic walls box and size of one centimeter uh, this looks small I will increase it on 10 centimeters. Okay, this looks fine. And the third thing, I will select mullions, so double click on a group, M, assign material, and assign modifier. And let's make it. I will just Isolate this one, Alt-Q or this button here, Alt-W will maximize my viewport and will go to Rotate, 
will select angle snap toggle double click on this gizmo and let's just rotate it for 90 degrees so that, uh, right click top level and instead of gizmo and then just click this isolate selection and here is our model just trick number eight on a keyboard and environment and effect will pop up and for the environment map just place corona sky open material editor and drag this corona sky over there as instance close both both of those windows and we can just start with interactive render so to see what we got i see that this is so bright and i will increase highlight compress on eight I will just zoom in to see how the materials appear and this seems pretty fine maybe this one we need to increase a bit like on 25 25 25 this maybe looks better so this looks very fine very good the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to create a sun so it will give us a smooth shadows because now when we are looking at this we cannot see any any shadows so this is like a completely cloudy day with, with no sun at all and i'm going to make a sun i'm going to corona toolbar create corona sun and we'll just make it to be somewhere from here we'll go to the modify tab we'll put intensity on 0 0.1 and we'll increase the size so we get a very smooth shadows and here in a perspective viewport i will just uh, go to the shift f so it it will so it will frame our window and again start interactive so you see we got some shadows they looks nice and i am now going to create a camera so i am going to the top view and i am going to create one and just when I'm in a perspective view, I will just click C. So it will go to our camera. Then from the front view, I'm going to make this camera. I'm going to fix this angle. So when I click on a camera, I will go to the modify. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix the focal length. I will make it like 60 millimeters focal length. When you are making a pictures of your model, you are most often photographing that from the bird perspective uh, view because you cannot come so close and make a focus. You are mostly using those uh, narrow camera angles. So I will make this one as 60 millimeters. I will just try to make this a bit better. Uh, so maybe something like this. and now i will go and start interactive i would like to see how the sun the sun makes shadows this seems fine really what we can do is just something like this and because i don't like to have those not parallel verticals i'm going to the camera and then you will see under tilt and shift automatic vertical tilt so it will going to make them completely straight and basically that was it now we can just go and we can just hit the render button and our render will start so basically that was it i really hope that you can find this method useful and you can apply it to the more complex models and create the graphic and the renders you like as I said, you have a lot of very good materials and you can apply any other material you want or you can create materials you like. If you are super new in, in Revit and Corona, you can just use the Corona materials, the presets you have, they're, they're coming together with Corona. You can uh, install Corona Renderer for free and you will get a 45 days trial.